what Wolf was um, concerned wasn't so much setting the literal meaning of a text as it was with um, setting the, you know, expressing the ambiguities, the paradoxes. Um, and so it's more the irrational element <laughs> that he is interested in. So some have said that he sets the inner meaning of the text. And so um, the piano you know, has a, a role in describing the psychological uh, state of mind. And so this irrational element is, uh, is an important aspect, the subconscious. So the two that we're going to do um, are Verborgenheit, which translates secrecy, or sometimes you see it um, concealment, or even isolation. So that um, is a poem by Edward Murica. And Murica was uh, a very important and these two that we're going to listen to both are on texts by America. This, the form of this one is, is ternary. And it has all these elements that I just mentioned, the chromaticism, independent vocal part from the piano, and um, the listening <coughs> is this subconscious kind of expression. So, um, pass this to us across, I'll give you a copy of this. All right, so this has to do with, you know, solitude, this idea of isolation. These are popular um, romantic elements. Um, so the basic idea is expressed in, in the first four lines, which is the opening A section. And then he then restates this. It's actually not a, a, the way that the poem was written. But he takes, you know, artistic license to then have an ABA form. And so um, this opening statement is, "Oh world, let, leave me alone. Let me be. Um, don't tempt me with charitable gifts, but let my heart in solitude feel its joy and its pain." So he just wants to be alone with his feelings and doesn't want to be distracted by any of the pleasures of the world. Um, and so that's the first page. Then the second page is the um, 
And, you know, Wolf sets that opening in, in a way that's very quiet, very, you know, peaceful. But then we have all of this, this uh, um, angst that is, that is expressed um, in the next section. So it starts, I do not know the cause of this sadness. It is indefinable pain. So it's this idea of, you know, um, irrational. Um, um, and he says, yet constantly through my tears, I see the friendly rays of sunshine. Often I am barely conscious when the bright joy breaks through the darkness and wondrously lightens my heart. So even though he doesn't want to you know, have any kind of consolation, and he doesn't know why, but still, you know, in his darkest moment, the, the rays of sunshine break through his tears. And so that's what we have on the second page and then through the first system of the last page. And you can see these real extreme dynamic markings, you know, having three different dynamic levels in one measure from, you know, fortissimo to piano. And then he restates the opening at the bottom. The ladies whose name is in parenthesis at the, at the bottom of the text is the person who made the uh, English translation, which is always a tricky thing to do. All right, so we'll listen to this. 